I'm Golden Skate and excited to welcome Karen Chen back to International Competition. Karen, great to have you here chatting. Thank you for having me. So you've just come off the ice at Autumn Classic International here in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like, uh, to, be, to be back? It feels great to be back. Definitely miss going out there and competing again um, and feeling the butterflies and being nervous, but overall just really excited to make my comeback. So, and, and I heard you mention that after the short program, that there was some sense of nerves. And mm -hmm. that would surprise, I think, some people. For a skater who, like, blew people away in 2015 at Nationals, mm -hmm. 2017 U.S. National Champion, back-to-back -back short, clean short program, clean long program, uh, fourth place in the world in 2017. Where did the butterflies come from? I think it's just from that pressure that I give myself and knowing that I'm capable of skating clean. Um, and just... Wanting to do well, that's where the nerves just start kicking in, is when I have that sort of goal in my mind and I know I can do it and I give myself that pressure um, and I feel nervous and I feel like it's 100% normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last time we saw you was of course the Olympic season. Lots of ups and downs, lots yeah. of drama that particular season. When you reflect yeah. back on that year, 2017, 2018 now, what are your thoughts and how do you sort of describe it? Oof, it was like a crazy year, definitely a roller coaster, just so many ups and downs. And it was just hard because it was my first time, and I knew I had a shot of making the Olympic team, so I knew that every single decision I made needed to be right. Um, and with that in my mind, it just gave myself pressure, and I was constantly like unsure of which was the right move. Instead, I felt like I could have just like trusted my gut better and just went for whatever. I wanted to do and just committed 100%. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I recall covering Skate Canada that particular season. Mm -hmm. You were debuting a new program at yeah. Skate Canada, pre for, different from previous in the season. Mm -hmm. Lots of musical changes. Yeah. Did you ever really find your, your groove looking back or mm -hmm. in terms of your music selection and, and going mm -hmm. back to your old programs? Yeah, it was... I just felt like I started off the season strong. I was I love my programs, and then I guess I started to realize my sure my long had a similar style, and I felt like after getting feedback from the judges, it just could be better. And so I experimented, tried a new long. It was sort of the right idea, but not really. And then at that time, I was like, maybe it's better if I go back to something that's familiar and get me that spot on the Olympic team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your short program, in particular. To Swan Lake, or rather on Golden Pond, yes. was so, I mean, it's so symbolic and, and such a popular program, mm -hmm. a real key program for you. Yes. Do you miss it? Are there times when you sort of hear that music or you go back to it in any way? I do miss it because that music and that program just brings back so many memories, um, the good ones and the bad ones, but it's just a very special program. And I know that that's a program where when I hit it, it's amazing, but when I make a few little mistakes, it just doesn't have that impact that I know that it's capable of. Mm -hmm. Last year, everyone, many people looked forward to your continuation and return to the ice. Mm -hmm. What happened? Um, after Olympic season, I was training. Um, I had a stress fracture, and that just kind of kept me off the ice for a couple months. And then I was getting back on, but I also couldn't push it because I didn't want to aggravate it and make it worse and have it linger for however long because stress fr fractures are just kind of tricky. Mm. Um, so I ended up taking the whole season off, and then making my comeback this year. Was that a hard decision? It was really hard because I was constantly like battling like whether or not I should do more or pull back because I didn't want to injure myself but also I knew that in order to compete well I needed to push myself and train really hard. Mm -hmm. So fast forwarding now to this season, you're back, new programs, really strong debut at, uh, at your summer skate and here. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your feelings in terms of you know coming back and, and feeling ready deep field here at Auto Classic International, mm -hmm. which is maybe a little unusual. Good for yeah. you for picking it and sticking through with it. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, I feel like I'm on the right track. I feel like I put out some solid elements and I put out my program and I do feel very good that I felt like I did my best and I know that this is a good starting point and I have so much more to build off of. Mm -hmm. the, the triple Lutz, triple toe loop is a, is a real key signature yeah. technical element for you. Sometimes it gets, gets away, but when mm -hmm. it's landed, it looks so rock solid. Yeah. What's, your, what's your secret to that? <laughs> um, I worked really hard on it, getting that rotation completely backwards and it's been so much better during practice, but I know especially at this competition this short, I just got a little tense and it just, I didn't have the flow that I usually have out of the LUTs and the toe was just 
a little hard to do, mm -hmm. but I know that it's I can do it like perfectly. How do you get your mindset to, to land it in that perfect way that you know how you can in competition? Um, I think it's just a matter of letting muscle memory take over and just kind of go with the flow. I feel like my jumps are best when I just kind of not wing it, but I just kind of feel it. Mm -hmm. Your speed looks really good for a skater who's been off for a year and handling the stress fraction and so forth. Are, are, do you feel like, wow, I'm pretty competition ready here? Yeah, I do feel like I'm competition ready and also speed has never been something that I usually think about too much. I just usually, if I do feel a little nervous, I, if anything, I start skating too fast into a jump and then I lose control a little right, bit. Right, right. Can you talk about your choice of music for your short program and your free program? Uh, my short is To You Say by Lauren Daigle. It's a very special program that I decided, I picked this piece pretty early on, so this program, um, I had a lot of time to polish it and work on it, so it's pretty comfortable. Um, and I just love the lyrics of this song. I just, it really touches my heart. Mm -hmm. um, and for my long, it is to Illumination from The Secret Garden. It's a piece of music that I've wanted to skate to for a while, and I just decided this year is a year to do it, and um, yeah, I really like it. Mm -hmm. What drew you to the, to the short program particularly, to that, that music? I don't think I've, I've heard you do lyrics in your short program before, so is that a bit different Yeah, it's like my first time doing something like this, so it's pretty drastically different from anything I've done before, um, but that's kind of what I wanted this year. I wanted something different, I wanted something to challenge myself, and I wanted another special program to hopefully top on the Golden Pond. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the long program, uh, I particularly, in, in noticing you skated here at Autumn Classic, your timing of the spiral got a lot of excitement from the crowd mm -hmm. and applause, I mm -hmm. think, because of your extension and where you place it. Could you feel that? Could you hear that as you were skating? Or are you pretty in the bubble? Yeah, I can feel it because yeah. by the time I hit the spiral in both programs, like I'm done with both, all my jumping passes, so I just like, I'm into the music, um, I hear the cheering, I just embrace everything. Right, just milk it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you're also back to school, or you're, yes. you started in uh, school yeah. this yeah. season, or just in the past couple weeks? Or? Yeah, two weeks. So, so talk to us about that. Um, it's been crazy, but I knew that after the Olympics, like, I wanted to, because I took a gap year after I graduated high school, and I ended up taking two gap years, um, but I knew that I wanted to go to college and experience that. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's definitely an exciting but pretty terrifying journey that I committed to. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I'm really, really busy and not getting the sleep that I'm used to, but I love it. Okay, and your training, how are you sort of fitting that into your schedule? Um, I'm still kind of figuring that out a little bit. Um, the past two weeks have just been really hectic, like trying to figure out where my classes are and the campus is huge. Um, but just kind of like whenever I'm done classes, I try to like figure out like where I'm gonna skate and either I skate at the one that's like 10 minutes away or one that's like 30, 40 minutes away from campus, but I'll figure it out. Okay, okay. I'm watching your coach, Tammy, off camera. Uh, what are you doing for coaching in terms of who's coaching you? How are you gonna coach? Is FaceTime happening? What's going on? Yeah, we discussed FaceTime. Um, haven't really gotten the chance to figure that out yet because the ice time that I've been getting, sometimes it's like private ice, it's just me. And so FaceTiming wouldn't quite work if I just kind of put my phone there, then only a section of the, of mm. the ice is shown. So, sure. And I probably can't hear Tammy telling me right. corrections or anything. So we're going to figure it out. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, your goals for the season going forward? Is that um, something you've thought about? Or? I'm... I've kind of just been in the moment, but definitely I've always wanted to get a Grand Prix medal. That's something that I've never gotten before, and it's definitely a goal of mine. And just overall being like consistent. Like I've been so much more consistent during practice now, um, and just kind of putting that out onto competition. Okay. Deep and interesting field within U.S. ladies skating. Uh, Alyssa Liu, of course, bursting onto the scene last year. Uh, Brady Tunnell is, you know, has been to Worlds twice, was mm -hmm. with you at the Olympics, of course. Gracie Gold may or may not be coming back. Mm -hmm. We're not sure about Marani Gasu. Mm -hmm. Do you think about or do you pay much attention to the other women in the field or are you all sort of focused on yourself? I don't usually pay attention to other people because I find that I don't really benefit from it. I benefit better when I'm just kind of focused on focused on myself. Um, but I 
I do know like that's kind of what the US lady field is, but at the same time I'm just like really focused on my goals and what I need to do, especially now that I have school and skating and how I'm gonna make that work. Right, right. Okay. Well listen, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Congratulations Thank on you. your finish here. Welcome back to International Competition. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you this season, Karen. Thank you so thanks. much.